Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasala, Kor Halo Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakhadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water. To all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Zachanah and the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And he just wanted to touch on the fact that why does the so-called white man always use the so-called brown people? Because no one's actually so-called, you know, no one's actually white. There are different shades of red people. Pink is the reddish people. No one's actually black. There's different shades of brown people. But when it comes to the commercials, when it comes to when you're seeing um, LGBTQ activity or whatever, they always give you the faces of brown people. And they do that strategically for a reason. Now, this right here says student students across the country are going silent to protest against anti LGBTQ laws. OK, so now let me grab a quick scripture real quick. That's a lot here. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. So you have to watch your enemy, man, the so-called white man. It's the enemies of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They don't want you to reproduce. They want your children to turn out um, um, never getting married and having children and and and, and um, keeping the, their lineage going. Because the so-called white man is, is dying off quicker than they're being born. So they have to try and control you in the population to keep, you know, just to try and keep up. You see? 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, we're not ignorant of the fact that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he produces movies, rap music, all kinds of other shit to get you so-called people of color, which you are Hebrew Israelites. That's your real nationality. All these these nations want you 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 to not reproduce, man. They want to kill off our people, man. And they use. You know, whenever you see commercials or whatever, you know, they always going to show you normally two so-called black men together. That's normally how they do it. You know, they'll, they'll give you a damn Billy Porter and whoever the hell else, you know, your um, um, this other guy, your Lil Nas X. And, you know, they, they, they push these people on our people to try and make and, and it's and it's working because Esau Edom understands that. Um, let me get another quick scripture. They understand. This particular scripture right here, Proverbs 20, 22 and 6. They understand this. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. They've been working on this, this for a generation now. Now, all of a sudden, you have this new generation of children that believe that they're non-binary, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever the hell the letters are now, you know. And eventually, they're going to add that P onto it for the pedos. You know what I'm saying? So... They're training your children. They've been doing it for a while. This is the generation of that training. It's working. It has worked. Now, this new generation right here, let's think about it. If they do have children, <laughs> you know, which a lot of a lot of these these people are not going to have children. But the, 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 the ones that are not into this LGBTQ stuff, they're going to have children. But that generation of those children are going to be more susceptible to this stuff man you see and i ain't really even got to go off into it like that man <laughs> i just found it interesting that i was just doing a lesson on it with um that janelle monet chick that's talking about she's non-binary now and i was talking about how they they normally use people of color when they're when they're talking about this stuff you rarely ever see because this should you ask me should, where, where are the white kids at why would they use three three photos of, of people of color so to speak because you know the, from the names i would say there they would be um you know northern kingdomers you know this one to the very very left she looked like she could be a uh you know from the southern kingdom a judite but then again you know never know but anyway this is what they're doing it says the 17 year old now um erica Ro aaron robinson that's the, the so-called black chick right here to the uh to the left right here where it appears to be the 17 year old non-binary student attends a high school in Montgomery, Alabama, where the Republican governor this month signed a law that makes it a felony for parents and doctors to prescribe transgender youth with gender affirming care like puberty blockers. Another new Alabama law prohibits trans kids from using a bathroom that corresponds with their gender 
identity and bans any conversion conversation about sexual orientation or gender identity in elementary schools. <laughs> so, you know, and, and, and here you go. Now you got a whole new generation of kids that's fighting for their right to tell you I'm not a male or I'm not a female. I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. When the scriptures clearly says, hey, the Lord created everything. He created male and he created female. And that's the, the lesson that I went through with that particular um, hookup. But the main thing of it is, is they want to train your children up. And, and, and like I said, again, it has worked. I've watched the, the next generation come in, man. So the next following generation, it will be terrible. But hey, we're, we're hastening the day of our Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? We 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 pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, that this place is not going to go on for another year. There, that there will never be... That there would would not be another generation coming into this place, man. We want to be out of here, and at the at the pace that things are moving, it won't be long, because the Lord is not going to allow this crap to continue going on. You know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all hey, got to wake up, man, and realize that your enemy is 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 transforming your kids into being something that they're not, man. The so-called white man is pushing this this agenda on your children. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's an act. This shit right here is an act of genocide, man, from the so-called white man. Because like I said, again, whenever you see stuff like this, it's always going to be someone of color that's that they're pushing or they're or that's at the forefront of it. You see now you and these and, 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 and these right here were more likely tell you that they're, you know, Democrats. And now let me show you in the, in the comments that people are not with this. You think that everybody in the world is with this. But when you look at the comments in these stories, nobody is with it. You don't see no no positive uh, 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 comments when it comes to them supporting this ABCD EFG crew agenda, man. It says concern American. Good. Why make it just one day? No one cares about your gender or your sexuality. So keep your mouth shut. Live your own lives and stop trying to shove your beliefs down my throat. The next person says, that's right. And they can stay silent. Who cares? And you got this person clap with the clapping emoji with the thumbs up. It says, you wouldn't be here if you if you weren't from male and female, mom and dad. God created male and female, period. Praying for them all in, in Jesus name. But see, it's that Jesus crap <laughs> that's got them believing that the Lord loves every damn thing. He loves everybody. This guy right here. I keep this picture up, man. This guy, this guy right here, they believe that the Lord looked like this guy right here. This guy right here on the left right here, you see? They believe that the Lord is some blonde-haired, blue-eyed, shrinky-haired white guy that loves every damn thing and loves everybody. He loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. But in reality, the Lord depiction would be more of this guy right here, a dark, melanated man with a deep voice, and he's an austere man. The Lord is coming back to kill people, man. The Lord is a... Hey, look, man. <laughs> let me get let me get uh deuteronomy 32 and 39 because people think that the lord the lord is a man of war the lord is is not dealing with this crap man this is just a wicked evil ass agenda that has been pushed on the people by the so-called white man with his media the wicked are in control of the earth man the earth matter of fact job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked now, when it comes straight down to it, a lot of those so-called old ass white men, they understand that, hey, they're dying off quicker than they're being born. Let us do something about it. That's why you're hearing so much about these um, ab new abortion laws. They don't they don't care anything about you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans killing off your children. What they're concerned with is, is the so-called white woman doing it. Hey, look, we need you to have those babies because we're dying off quicker than we're being born. And that's the main reason why they are coming up with these these tougher um, abortion laws that they have. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So. That white Jesus crap where the Lord, he loves everybody and everything is all good. He loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. You can do what you want, you know, just, you know, just come put some money in the bucket and and and, and just repent in the name of sweet white baby Jesus and everything is going to be just fine. Nah, man, the Lord is a killer, man. He will kill you. And he said that these this particular lifestyle 
is an abomination to him and that the people that are into these lifestyles will surely die. You see, and it's not just Old Testament, man. You see, because you, you know, you got these people that are oh, well, that was the Old Testament. Hey, man, the Lord is, is the same every day. Nothing has changed about him, man. So it's high time to awake out of sleep, man, and have a healthy fear of the Lord. But this is another um, I mean, these things must happen because we're in the last days. They, don't get me wrong. We applaud these things because they they must happen because it shows us just how much closer we are to the end. Because we're about out of here, man. The Lord is not about to allow this place to go on being this goddamn wicked, man. His creation, he created male and female to, to uh, multiply. And here you go, you got the so-called white man pushing his agenda that you should stop multiplying. Let's, let's, let's depopulate the earth. There's too many people here. You see, because the so-called white man, he wants to be God. He has that God complex. He's the one. Matter of fact, let's get that Job 9 and 24. And they always, I'm telling you, they're going to always throw you people of color up there to, to push their agenda. They're going to always do that. You better believe it. They use the so-called Negro to push their agenda and everything wicked, man. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Now you got these, these, um, this particular, now you, because this country is so divided. You got red states that's not with this, this crap. It's mostly your, your, um, all you Negroes, Hispanics, so-called Native Americans, and, and you damn Democrats that went out and voted for, um, freaky, creepy Joe. And he's pushed all these laws through where, you know, um, the, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G people have all these goddamn rights, along with Obama, because Obama set it off too. Biden is just finishing up where Obama left off at. You see what I'm saying? So, and the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. You're not, these are the people that's writing the laws, man. They're the ones that's sanctioning people all over the earth if you don't do what they say to do. You see? They're the ones with, with, with their Navy ships and their submarines and their Air, Air Force uh, Ones and, 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 and damn helicopters and, and fighter jets and, 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 and damn sp international space centers and they running everything. So the earth, who that clearly lets you know that they're the wicked because the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And who did they give you as the, they covered the face of the main judge and gave you this guy right here. See, they gave you so-called white Jesus, man. This is the main, this is the main, main judge. The, the main judge is Yahweh's side where the main judge is actually Yahweh. Then his son, Yahweh's side. Well, who, who do they, the, the so-called white man, they telling you that God is a so-called white man. Uh, uh, Yahweh's side, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus is a white man. The little, the angels are little white babies with their PP showing, you know, with, with the wings on their back. They're, they're the angels. They're the apostles. They're the, they're the prophets. They done covered all the judges faces with this, with this guy right here looking effeminate as hell. Because this picture right here looked like he's a part of the LGBTQ community. Sweet white baby Jesus, man. Looking all effeminate and, and just looking like looking like the bearded woman. The bearded lady, man. All these pictures of him, he looks effeminate as all hell, man. So what do you expect, man? When the scriptures clearly says that the Lord was a dark, melanated man, man. But anyway, that's another lesson as well. But just wanted to just go off into this. Hey, don't. You have to really realize what, how your enemies get down. If you don't know your enemies, first off, you, you, you're not going to even consider it. But you have to know how an enemy gets down. An enemy will want to destroy you as a people, man. And how do they mainly destroy you? They would not want you to be reproducing. And here you go. Like I said, all these are you trying to tell me ain't no white kids in Alabama. Get the hell out of here. Ain't no, no white kids go to school in Alabama that's into the LGBTQ. But this is what they do. They put our people up there as 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 the fucking um, billboard for their wicked ass agendas, man. You see? So, hey, get your head on the swivel. We're living in the last days. If you don't repent and you're living this particular lifestyle, the Lord will destroy you, man. Repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and get that white Jesus guy out of your mindset because that's an idol, man. That is an idol. So with that, Kwame Yashallah.